Hi, I'm Yasmin Fernandez and I welcome you to my world of cooking in What's Cooking Man? Hi folks, today we are going to make prawn and pumpkin kaldin. This is a goan dish and is well loved by everybody. Yums, it really is good. So now we need 3 tablespoons of coriander seeds, 1 teaspoon of cumin seed, 1 cup, a little less than a cup of coconut milk powder, half a teaspoon of sugar, that's totally optional, 1 teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of turmeric powder. So these are all the dry ingredients. Now I have used half a teaspoon of sugar but please if you don't like sugar don't use it. Now let's get on with the wet ingredients. For the wet ingredients I have taken one onion which I have sliced, two tomatoes, eight cloves of garlic, an inch of ginger which has been slivered into fine pieces and six green chilies. The spice level you can alter. I have also taken a bowl full of prawns which have been washed well, deveined and then I have applied some salt and a teaspoon of turmeric mixed well and kept it aside. A cup full of parboiled pumpkin has also been taken, parboiled so that it cooks properly in the kaldin and doesn't take much time. We shall now take the dry ingredients for grinding after which we will add the wet ingredients. I am grinding the dry ingredients first so that we get a nice fine powder and the paste will be nice and smooth. The powder is now ready and now we shall add the wet ingredients. As mentioned the tomatoes, the onions, the ginger garlic and the green chilies. Spice level of course is up to you. Look at that nice smooth paste, finely ground and lovely. Now we shall add this paste to a pan and start cooking our kaldin. We will now put the pan on a medium low flame and add about 3 tablespoons of oil. Once the oil is hot, we will now add the masala Add the masala nice and slowly so that it doesn't splash and we will now start sauteing the masala. Nice and slowly till you get a lovely aroma. Oh my god it's already smelling so good. I can't tell you how nice the aroma is. So keep stirring folks and then it's time to add the prawns now. Nice and easy. Lovely, look at that. Let's start sauteing the prawns with the masala so that the flavors blend well and the kaldin will become even more tastier. Wow, look at that, look at that. Nice, nice, nice. Keep sauteing folks for around 4 to 5 minutes. The prawns have now sauteed well and it's time to add some water. I am going to take around 2-2.5 two, two cups in the same grinding jar so that the masalas will mix with the water and I will add that water to the kaldin. Look at that. Give it a nice stir. Wow. Mix everything well and also I will be adding another half a cup. So totally I have added 2.5 cups of water. Let's bring everything together and now we will close the lid and allow the prawns to boil well with the kaldin for around 10 to 15 minutes, opening once in a while and giving it a stir. Now once the prawns are boiled, we will add the cup full of parboiled pumpkin and allow that also to cook with the kaldin. It's time now to add some tamarind. I have added about a tablespoon of tamarind 
but you can add more or less uh, as per your taste. Now let's give the tamarind also a stir. Let everything come together well. Wow, look at that. Look at all the little bubbles. Nice. Close the lid and allow it to boil for around 15 to 20 minutes till the kalvin comes together and is yummy. Wow, look at that. It's now been around 15 to 20 minutes. Let's open the lid and check. Yum. The kalvin is now ready to serve. The pumpkin pieces also have cooked well and are nice and soft. So guys, let's plate the kalvin and enjoy it. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And press the bell icon and let me know in the comments how you liked the kalvin. Now let's plate.